guys, Alan Lee here with Honestly Handyman Services, and today I want to talk with you guys about the uh, certification and licensing process that's needed to be a handyman. So um, let me start this out saying I do not work for any contractor's state license board. Um, I'm just some handyman in California, and so I'm going to tell you what I know um, and what I've done my research on. So. Uh, again, I say I'm in California, so I have done predominant research in California and learning about the, the contractor's uh, law here in California. And from my understanding, the contractor's law states that any unlicensed contractor can only do work um, totaling no more than $500 per project. Um, and now that means that, a con I've, I've heard this in many different ways, that you know, handyman in California, they can they can only do certain things. They can't, you know, I heard that you can't paint, you can't do electrical, you can't do plumbing, you can't do flooring. Now those, from what I have found out, are completely false. I've called this the uh, California's Contractors State License Board and asked them that specific question and they said, no, that is untrue. And if, if you're a handyman, you can operate in any field that you want to. So you can do electrical, you can do plumbing, you can do roofing, you can do whatever, as long as it doesn't total more than $500 per project. And that's the key, is making it, making sure that whatever you do does not total more than $500 per project. And I've had so many people ask me, um, they said, well, what if I buy the materials? Uh, technically, legally, you cannot do that if the project totals more than $500, including labor and materials. So say, take this for instance, if someone wants you to install a, a bathroom vanity for them, and the vanity, they buy the vanity for $499. Legally in California, if you are an unlicensed contractor, meaning you don't have a contractor's license, you can only install that vanity for $1. So you can't go over $500, even if they buy the materials. Uh, so that's kind of a bummer. I've, I've even had some ceiling fans. People call me up and they want a ceiling fan installed, which, you know, it's a hundred bucks for labor, but the ceiling fan they want is like $450. Unfortunately, I cannot do that. Now, physically, I can do that. I, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's not that hard of a job, but legally you cannot. And that's the most important thing is if you don't want to get caught, you need to stay on the up and up. Uh, they, the contractor state license board, at least here in California, they run stings. Um, all the time. I've seen stings, you know, run all the way from LA, you know, up to almost near the Oregon border. They're running everywhere. Um, so you gotta, you know, you gotta watch out for that. Um, and, you know, keep it under 500. And as far as other states in the United States, um, every state has a different law. I know for a while I thought California had the most stringent laws, but I heard that there's other states out there that might not even allow you to do that $500 limit. Uh, so they may not even allow you to do anything without a contractor's license. So uh, I've had a lot of questions asking about, you know, what kind of licensing you need or things like that. What I would say to you is call your contractor state license board and figure out what the laws are in your state. Uh, because like I said, every state is different. You can also call the city that you live in um, and call the city hall and ask them, you know, what the laws are. They may know a little bit more. Uh, but as far as being a handyman here in California, all I need is a general business license uh, delivered to me by the city that I operate in. Um, I need general liability insurance, and those are the only two things that I need to be a handyman here in California. And um, obviously, don't go over that $500 limit. That is the most important. Um, I've gone to a few contractor training courses I put on by the California's Contractor State License Board. And I love those things because it's just like an open forum where you can ask them any question you want. Um, I went to one um, about a month ago. I thought I was going to be the only person there because I'm like, who else is interested in this kind of stuff? But apparently a lot of people are. Uh, sorry, it's a little shaky here. I'm driving. Um, yeah, so I went to one and I asked them these specific questions. You know, uh, what do you need to be a handyman? Can I do any, any job? As long as it doesn't total more than five hundred dollars, and they say yes, that is the way the law is written, and that is the way that we need to stick to it. So, um, so as far as the, the laws and regulations here in California, that's that's kind of the summary of them. You need to you know have a general business license, have uh, general liability insurance, and not perform jobs.
jobs over $500. Um, as far as other states, just to recap, um, I don't know the laws in other states. I know a lot of states allow you to do as much work as you want, I think up to maybe $10,000, $20,000. So you can operate as a contractor without having a contractor's license in many states. Um, you know, which is cool, that's, that's what they offer. So I personally like how California is set up um, in that aspect. Um, yeah, I don't know, I, I wish it was, I definitely wish it was a little bit more free, but anyways, um, I think it's good to, to require people to have a contract license because it keeps people on the up and up and it keeps people that are doing this work that they know the laws and the regulations because here in California you have to, you have to take, you have to have four years of experience um, running your own business or being a, uh, um, a person builder. So that means you're just building your own home or, or remodeling your bathroom or whatnot. You have to have four years worth of experience. Plus you have to take a laws and regulations test and a and an applicable um, skill set test. So, you know, I think that having people take those tests is a, is a good idea. Um, but, you know, other people may have different opinions, but that's mine. So anyways, that's my gist on handyman laws and regulations. So I hope you all uh, enjoyed this video and please like this video and subscribe to my channel and check out all my other videos as I have so much about how to be a handyman and things like that. Anyways, thank you all so much and have a great day.